We're live at Newsom Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans, where country music started. A uh, bit of trivia for you, Grim. Nashville has the lowest number of teeth per person. Whatever. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Mile High Chronic take on the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> if the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the NFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all you can eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Now, the offense seems to think the defense had too much time on their hands, so they took some of it back with a time warp dirty trick. That last play was completely erased from time. You know, I, I use that kind of power to, like, unnoop the world. But, uh, sure, getting rid of a play works, too. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. <sighs> Third down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. <sighs> Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Oh, no good. Now, that punter's going to find a cutoff bison head in his bed, and he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. was there but he still picked up a yard somehow <laughs> second down and nine <laughs> he dropped it if he does that again they'll drop him Third down and nine. Nice run for five yards. Yeah. 
And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, 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 that gets me every time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. Can you just crap your pants, Junior? And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hot two, eight. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 eight. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. <laughs> Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Second down in a mile. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> one yard on that pass. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. Oh, man, he shanked that. There goes my spread. You got to be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grab, I just dash. On it. And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> yeah, good game for talent. I won't even get out of First down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They're looking for 
for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and nine. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. And that'll bring up third and one. Tell he's a berserker because he's from it, and that's just a great run for a touchdown. <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hey. Oh man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hey. The nastiest direction in the NFL is Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be caught. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, with a brutal hit. <laughs> oh. 
And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. That's really pretty. And then some first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pay. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. And it's first and ten. <laughs> that pass play nets them seven yards. Ah, oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick your head in a plastic bag, stand the outfit backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot He's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, he is dead. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Nicely done for a first down. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout there in half time. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stoopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Second down, and the QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. Oh, I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is.
We're at the turn of the third quarter in a nail biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. <laughs> for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. First and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! First and eight to go. They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Man, what a hit that was! Third down and the offense needs a miracle. No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it seems like it. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. You know this preserve dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crushed. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard.
Third down and three. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a Rutabag after that hit. Second down and nine. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got to uh, <clears throat> Hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And out comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Boom! And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb. If he... The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. It's a glitterception! What's that, Grim? Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like Grant Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. And it's.
It's first and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the hips off. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. He scores! And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. I didn't think he got those, Grim. Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. <laughs> First down and inching. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offense. He's not going down. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Ouch, that's got to hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First down and five. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. <laughs> And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Get your motor running. <laughs> First down and three. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with.
for that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five on that play second down and five two minutes left in the game and we'll be right back after I top off my drink grab me a scotch while you're up second down and five A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And that'll bring up third down and inches. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant? Constant, relentless advance. If only oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and long. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. First down and six. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. No one can secure the win, and now these wolves are gonna party. I uh, picked up a werewolf cheerleader once. Let me tell you, Grandma, there's no such thing as safe sex with a werewolf. See this guy here? That ain't no tattoo. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because yeah, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scotch, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every...